Hello, welcome back to Vibrant Living Kitchen where we show deliciously healthy, easy to make vegan recipes every time. Uh, today we are making something really, really special. It is biryani. Don't be hating me for calling it biryani. You can call it pulao. This variety of rice called chitti mutyalu is very small. That's why it's called chitti mutyalu is pearls. So they're like little, little pearls. It's grown by our dear friends from Nellur Pernati uh, Naturals. How awesome that there are people who care for these heirloom varieties of rice and they grow with care even though they don't yield so much and when they have to sell it costs more than the regular kind of rice but we know that this is where the money should be spent and encourage the farmers who grow this kind of varieties of heirloom varieties of all kinds of grains and legumes and varieties of vegetables and fruits and uh, use them in a creative and most beautiful and traditional ways as well. So let's get on with the recipe here. These are the ingredients that I need. I picked up some of the herbs from the garden and for a pulao or biryani, generally a lot of masala is used. In this case, we are only using leaves. I've shown this before to you. Uh, these are all spice leaves. It has a little bit of aroma uh, of all the spices that we use for garam masala. So that's what it is. And then a little bit of ginger and garlic, fresh tofu, mushrooms. And if you don't like to use mushrooms, you can avoid. And vegetables, I'm using carrot and potatoes, but you can uh, use uh, different uh, you can use green beans instead of carrot so let's start I'm going to start by using the same pot for the entire dish I'm using a stoneware from Northeast India they retain heat beautifully so I love using these a few cashews I'm only making a small quantity for maybe one person as a full dish, or maybe one and a half person. Okay, let's start by adding two tablespoons of coconut oil for a half a cup of chitti mutyalu rice. You can also do this whole dish only with coconut milk. Uh, you don't have to even use oil, but we are using a little bit of oil today. And just one leaf of allspice and onions. Ginger and garlic. Mint and coriander. Chilies. potatoes and carrots. Mushrooms. And I'm gonna use some fennel. You don't have to use fennel. Since I got fresh fennel from the garden, I decided to Pluck some and use it. So this is tender fennel. You can use fennel seeds if you wish. A little bit of salt. I'll put a little more salt after I put rice and reduce the flame. Putting about 100 grams of tofu. Just a little stir. Okay, so I'm adding our kichli sambar, kichli rice, it's called in Tamil Nadu, chitti mutyalu. So I put half a cup of rice, a little more salt, so if you were to not use oil at all, yes, you can make a pulao or biryani without oil by making coconut milk really thick and strong. Do the first part what I did sauteing and all in that thick milk and then add your rice 
uh, and now you can add water and cook through. You'll have excellent results even that way. So a little stirring and You want to have your potatoes at least half cooked. Yeah, it's half cooked. So that's one cup water. One cup water to half cup rice. At this point, it's a good idea to see if there is enough salt because there's no way you can add salt later once the rice is cooked. It can use a little bit of salt, okay, and a little till one more time. And just wait up. So it's not wrong to eat rice. It is wrong to eat mainly rice. See how much, how many vegetables we added and we added tofu. If tofu is not something that you have, um, ready or you don't want to use tofu uh, you can always use legumes I would use chickpeas or I would use rajma or lima beans or black peas any of those you can add uh, instead of tofu it would make your dish balanced will have enough protein uh, along with your rice um, so rice you can have by the way chittimutyalu has low glycemic index so it's also good for diabetic people so it's it's about what rice you choose in what form you eat and what you combine with it all matters but rice is not your enemy at all rice is your friend it smells great so here is our most flavorful and smelling delicious Chitti Mutyalu Pulav. So this is made with tofu and Chitti Mutyalu and lots of vegetables in it. And you can pair it up with a curry with maybe a little spice in it. will work really amazing. Or you can pair it up with a little salad and raita. See you next time.